There are hundreds of adorable and cute dogs that invaded New York City this weekend. The spectacular American Kennel Club's Meet the Breeds event is in Javits Convention Center in New York City. She's a recent mom. She had nine puppies. What's her name? Simsy. Simsy, so cute. How old is Simsy? Four. Nice. Meet the Breeds is an event series started in 2009 by the American Kennel Club. The purpose of this event is to provide an in-person hands-on way to learn about different kinds of dog breeds. In this event, dog lovers get the unique chance to meet and play with hundreds of adorable dogs and puppies. It's exciting to see a lot of dog breeds that I've never seen in person. And I love that the event encourages responsible pet ownership. Bedlington Terriers have a unique appearance. They could be mistaken for lambs with their white fur. They have expressive almond-shaped eyes and soft, flappy ears. New Yorkers have always loved their pets. A recent study from the New York City Economic Development Council found that there are approximately 600,000 dogs and New York City has a population of around 8.8 .8 million people. The French Bulldog was the most popular breed for New York City alone, according to the AKC. The Borzoi is a Russian breed of hunting dog of sighthound type. This canine exudes strength and agility with its long, slender body and distinctively shaped head. They were bred to hunt wolves, actually. Did you know that the iconic mascot of the Target Corporation is an English Bull Terrier? Does this dog remind you of Chewbacca? A Briard. How old is he? He's two and a half. Nice. Very cute. Aside from the fun experience with the dogs and learning about different dog breeds, there are other cool things to do in the event, like the entertaining dog show. There's yummy food and so many things to buy. Plus, you get to interact with your fellow fur lovers. Speaking of furs, this dog breed has a lot of fur. One of these columns is filled with three months of fur shed from Wanlian Burger, and you could create these products from the fur.
However, if you're a furless dog lover, do not fret because this is one of the dog breeds for you. I noticed it and I, I put jojoba oil on her after I shower her. He does, Greyhound when they run? Or? They run fast. He's, um, he does a sport, he does a fast cat where they run the 100 yards straight and they chase a plastic bag. Right, it's supposed to be a right, right. And he, um, he's clocked at 25 miles an hour. Wow. Yeah, Audrey is too. I think Audrey's hit maybe 27 miles an hour. Tailage could lift them by their tails. Pull them out of a hole in the ground if they've gone into the ground after a woodchuck or a right. <laughs> if they get stuck in there, you can pull them out. Wow. <laughs> If you're looking for a dog, most likely you are doing your own research and I hope this vlog showcasing AKC's Meet the Breeds event can give you an idea of the dog that is perfect for you. It's advisable to prioritize adopting from rescue organizations or shelters to provide a loving home to a dog in need. But if you decide to purchase, it's crucial to choose a reputable breeder who follows ethical practices and prioritizes the well-being of their dogs. He knows what he wants. He's a, he's a cookie now. Cookie time. He likes his cookies. Otto Romagnolo. Okay. This is an Italian water dog. It's a water dog. Um, they also hunt truffles. Wow. This is the truffle dog. Oh, this is the truffle dog. Yeah, the, oh, pigs, wow. the pigs will dig up the right, truffles right. and eat them. Right. These guys dig them up. Exactly. And just, they just sniff it and they point to you where the truffle is. Well, they dig it up. Yeah. Oh, wow. But then, but then they leave it. Wow. You nice. Know, it's a, it's, it's, it was originally a water dog, as you can see. Um, so they have hair. So this, also, water dogs have hair. It's, it's two layers of hair because they are water dogs. Right. And they have web feet. We have feet and then hair, right? They're good swimmers. Portuguese water dogs have a traditional lion cut which originated with the fishing dogs of Portugal. The lion cut diminished the initial shock of cold water when jumping from boats. The hindquarters were left shaved to allow easier movement of the back legs and the powerful tail. Dog, I don't want to go too far. What are the names of your dogs? So this is uh, Tilly.
This is the Rhodesian Ridgeback. Have you noticed the hallmark of this breed on the back? It's a ridge which is formed by the hair growing in the opposite direction of the coat. Oh, you must have you know, you touched somebody real neat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come here, Come here. Here's the puppy. This is, she's five months old. Come on, Trouble. <laughs> Twelve years old. She's been to this for years, so she she loves it. Dogs, they 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 help you with hunting. Yes, they're for picking up waterfowl, ducks, geese, or also um, for land hunting for pheasants. Wow! Different birds like that. Yep. Nice friend to bring along with you during hunting. So 
gonna go walk this time. Twelve years old in June. They have a nice terrier beard. Mm -hmm. hey, oh boy, there's a close up. You came right in for the camera on that one, huh? Camera shy. This is the third schnauzer breed in this video. There is three schnauzer breeds. This is the giant, and earlier I showed the standard and miniature schnauzers. Scooby-Doo is a popular cartoon character is portrayed as a Great Dane, a breed known for its large size and friendly nature. Jack Russell. Yeah, very close. And do they, they do. bark a lot? Yeah. Uh, they can, but yeah. some don't. Very active too. Yes. Just like Jack JRT's. Amazing. All terriers are very active. My dog and I would like to thank you for watching this vlog. Please love and take good care of our dogs.